Boom arms are a great addition to any setup where you're gonna be using a mic. And in today's video, we're taking a look at one that might be a great option for you to consider from a company called Mayono. I hope I'm saying that right, but it features a really sleek looking closed tube design in comparison to a lot of the more scissor open looking boom arm designs that we see nowadays. In the box with getting that boom arm itself, you're gonna get the clamp with some extra hardware in case you actually choose to screw it onto your desk instead of just clamping it on the side. Setting up the boom arm is very simple. All you're gonna have to do is take your clamp unscrew it to the width of your desk, which allows for all the way up to 2.4 inches of width. So check your desktop width in case that won't fit there. But all you do, once you get to that size, put it back on your desk, tighten it back down. And from there, you can just take the boom arm itself and slide it right into place. And from there, it can be swiveled all around 360 degrees, wherever you might want it. You're gonna get three different plastic knobs on the boom arm itself. You're gonna get one towards the top where the mic is attached, one in the middle, and then one at the very bottom. These are basically gonna act as your tension adjustments, which will make it easier or harder to move up and down. If you loosen those knobs, it's gonna make that tension more want to lift it up. If you tighten it down, it's gonna make it harder for it to move up. So it's gonna help you hold it in place. Although I will mention that even when you tighten these things down, the tension is just so strong as we see with other closed tube designs like this, where the tensioning system is inside of it. Things like the blue compass, as well as the Gator Frameworks boom arm. It just still wants to lift up. Even when you're trying to hold it down, it will just kind of want to slowly rise up. So you really do have to crank these knobs down to get that tension down in but of course along with having these you also do have that tension adjustment in the base of it which is controlled by a screw which can either be loosened or tightened itself as well you're able to get almost 16 inches of vertical reach almost 14 inches of horizontal so it can move a good distance without any issue and it's also rated to hold mics all the way up to four pounds so pretty much going to be able to hold anything that you're going to be able to throw at it especially with today's gaming condenser microphones basically all of them are pretty stinking light so should have no issues holding whatever microphone you need it to the threads on the end of the mic are fitted for five eighths of an inch, but there's just an adapter in that can be screwed off very easily to take it right down to three eighths of an inch. So you have both of those options very readily available to you. Once you do have your mic connected to the boom arm itself, one of the nice things about it is you do have the option of routing that cable down the back side. It has some cable clips that hold it in there. I will mention, I did try to put my XLR cable in there and maybe my XLR cable is just a little bit bigger than some other ones, but it does not fit very nicely. I did was able to fit it in there, so you definitely can fit it in there, but in the process, I scraped off some of the coating in my XLR cable so a very tight fit, but probably once you put it in there, you won't be needing to move it in and out a bunch. So yes, it will fit for my personal XLR cable, pretty tight, but right now I'm just using a USB-C cable right here that goes over to my computer. That fits obviously no issue. Build quality wise, the boom arm so far, really nice. Basically all of it is gonna be metal. They have that nice metal tubing, of course, that actually makes up the structure of the boom arm, but you are gonna have a little bit of plastic with the tensioning knobs on it. Those are all plastic. And then also the part down in the desk where you tighten it down. That's also gonna be a plastic piece, but besides that, everything nice and solid metal feeling. Those plastic knobs though, definitely a point of concern for me. Yes, so far, absolutely no issues with them, but to get it to stay in place, like I mentioned earlier in the review, it does kind of just want to pick up with the tension to go back to where it belongs with the tensioning, wanting to lift it upwards. So to keep it in place, you really have to reef on those plastic tensioning knobs. And I worry about that because yes, it is plastic. I feel like maybe six months on the road, if you're constantly having to reef on those and having the tension pulling against it, it might become a fail point for it. But so far, no issues to that, I just want to point it out, it might be something to be concerned about down the road. You can find this boom arm from Mayano, and again, I hope I'm saying the company's name right, on Amazon for just $80, which definitely is not as cheap as some of the other boom arms that are viewed on the channel, which are even half or a quarter of the price of this. But I definitely think you can see where that extra money gets you with this boom arm. That sleek closed tube design along with the cable management makes for just a really nice, clean look, very aesthetically pleasing in your setup. And the build quality for me so far, again, has been really solid, really spot on. I love the metal tubing design feels really heavy quality in a hand with one of the biggest drawbacks I would say for this boom arm and something another present issue that we see in other ones that use the same inside tensioning system is that you can't just always pull it wherever you want and have it stay just the tensioning system wants to lift it and move it around which isn't the biggest issue but for someone that's maybe pulling in their boom arm or moving around a lot that might be an issue for you so take that into consideration but if you're not someone who's fidgeting with a lot or having to move it around it's probably not going to be that big of an issue and again it's very minor but something that might annoy you. So if you really just want a no hassle boom arm that's gonna stay wherever you move it, this might not be the best option for you, but otherwise, if you're fine working with a little bit or if you're not gonna be moving it around all the time, I definitely think this warrants the $80 price tag. Feel free to check out some of these other boom arm reviews I have on the screen right now. And if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely hit the like button and do consider subscribing.